Joey, it, it seems like a long time ago you hit a grand slam. Um, but what, what are the emotions of a game like that? I mean, the big early lead, it gets away. Your five-run lead gets away. Two-run lead, an extra inning. Maybe that's it. It gets away. And then to come back with what you guys did. Yeah, I mean, in those types of games where it's kind of back and forth, um, it's kind of just the, the keep grinding it out mentality. Um, not necessarily grinding it out, but just keep competing, keep competing. Um, fun day to hit. I mean, the ball was blowing out today. It seemed like everything was kind of getting down or through or up or out. Um, so, I mean, a lot of credit to our pitchers. Um, again, that was a that was a tough day to uh, to be out there on the mound. So, you know, it was good to uh, good to get that one there in the end and uh, kind of put a nail in it. And you guys, have, you talked about like some resolve and resiliency earlier this season, some games where you came from behind. And I, I would think this kind of fits into that category as well to, you know, not get disheartened by letting those leads get away. Sure. And I mean, even, you know, on a, on a bigger scale, bigger picture, look at our season as a whole. And we, you know, didn't really start out playing hot the, the way that we wanted to. And, um, you know, continuing now through this 11 game streak to just win, win, ways, win games, you know, pretty much every way you possibly can. And last question, uh, that was there a key moment you think in that um, 11th inning that you, you realized you guys were going to, you know, kind of be okay and get through that and get some runs? I mean, you know, with these new rules, it's it's pretty funky. I mean, it just seems like there's a lot more scoring, obviously, going on in extra innings, uh, which I think was the, the point of it. But, I mean, for, for me, I mean, when Frankie got that hit, I mean, we went up by two, and, and uh, you know, I, I have all the confidence in the world in our, in our pitchers and bullpen. So, you know, I felt like at that point we, we had, you know, we liked our chances. Joey, what was uh, Stripling doing so well uh, in his seven innings? Because you guys were really good against Thornton, and then once he got out, it seemed like you guys were able to get things started back up. But Stripling really had you, I, I guess, guessing. Sure. I mean, kind of, a, you know, kind of a sneaky fastball. Um, felt like he was locating all three of his pitches pretty well. Um, yeah, just, just keeping guys off balance. I mean, especially on a day like today, that was, you know, kind of the trick was just, you know, try to induce weak contact. And, you know, he, he seemed to get a lot of that. So, um, yeah, I mean, he was he was pretty sharp today. I got lucky first at bat, kind of nipped me in the toe there with two strikes. But um, but yeah, I mean, he's he's a, he's a solid arm. And today, you know, I, I thought he, he did a good job, just kind of keeping us off balance. Hey, Mark, you've uh, you've talked a lot about resolve and resiliency earlier in this season and during this streak. But to to let two leads, two multi-run leads, get away and then come back and do what you did, what does that say today? A good team, man. They're they're doing things really really well. Um, they're going to continue to compete and, you know, put together the bats we had. We're just, just outstanding at bats. Um, Taylor walls, you know, notable one, get, get the walk and his base running, um, you know, and then Randy, the add on Joey Wendell, everybody, everybody has to play a role when you score that many runs. Um, but it was, it was a big back and forth game. You know, we get out to the early lead and I thought Yarbs pitched really, really well. Uh, certainly we all recognize the ball was flying pretty good. It was pretty windy out there, uh, for both teams. And y y you didn't, you didn't think it was going to stay five, you know, five, nothing that they were going to shut us down. Uh, but when we needed them most, they really picked us up. That's your, that, you, there were obviously a ton of big hits. I, maybe Mejia had the biggest of them in that inning. Yeah. The ball the other way. Yeah. That was the same ball that Taylor got such a good jump on. Right. Uh, it was big. It was really big uh and then it, it seemed like you had kind of alluded before the game trying to protect the bullpen there you left springs out there a little bit you just trying to stay away from the right handers at that point and then kittredge end up at the end yeah i mean we were at a point like uh, you know kind of a decision to be had do we do we ask a starter to go fill innings or uh lean on kit right there not that's not how we drew it up but so just you know so appreciative of their efforts their work i mean kit he bounces back so well, um, and, and I think all those guys, they, they, they really pitched well, um, and, and they were exhausted, but they competed uh, and helped us get a win. Did you send a starter down there? Was somebody down there in no, case? No. no. Okay. And last question, what's the update on G-Man, and, and will he be out a while? No, I do not think he will. Uh, he just it, His knee just started to bother him a little bit. I think there was a throw somewhere in the – before, earlier in the game that that it just grabbed him and it got a little sore at that point in the game you know it's five nothing I, i'm sitting there saying okay let's get him off his feet uh i'm not sure if we make that decision in a tighter situation 
Gotcha. So you'd expect he'd be available tomorrow or the next day kind of thing. Yes. Got it. Thank Kevin, did did Brasso get spiked in in the eleventh because he, he looked like he was hobbling around? Yeah, I think he rolled his ankle with the pitcher or the catcher when he came around to score. Uh, I thought it was his hammy, but it looked like he rolled his ankle. He he said he's fine, one hundred percent. I saw him, you know, right there. He hit the double and didn't look that great running, but good enough. In a situation like this, Kevin, where in the, these four games you have two extra inning games, obviously a lot of pitchers use that sort of thing. How helpful is it to know that, you know, from this road series, going back home, you're you're basically home already and you have the day game heading into a, a night game? Yeah, no, it's nice. Certainly unique, but it's nice. Uh, you know, Motor always says happy flight. A lot of the guys were saying let's find a way to have a happy drive and they'll have a happy drive back to St. Pete today.